Today I want to speak about one of the special black metal bands from Norway of the second wave of black metal and I'm speaking about Carpathian Forest. Carpathian Forest from the beginning they played a very special style of black metal with punk influences in their music and some also jazz influences. Something very very special. Now the band started uh, with uh, two original members Natterfrost, his original name is uh, Roger Rasmussen and uh, Nordavind and his, his real name is uh, Johnny Crowell if I'm not uh, if I prefer it well <coughs> these two guys in the 90 in the beginning of the 90s in, in 1990 they started the band by the name Enthrone uh, afterwards if, if I'm not sure they changed the name to child molesters and afterwards they changed the name uh, in 1992 to Carpathian uh, Forest. As in Throne they made a demo in 1991 and then Natterfrost he, has, uh, he had the, another name, uh, another, uh, uh, another nickname uh, Lord Nosferatu and Norda with another name Lord uh, Karnstein, something like that. Uh, their first demo as Enthrone was uh, uh, known by the name Black Winds. In 1992 they changed the name to Carpathian Forest and then two other members came to the band. As four members, as a band of four members, they made the three first historical demos of them. Rehearsal Outtake in 1992, Bloodlust and Pervasion also in 1992, and Journey Through the Cold Moors of Schwarzenegger, something like that, in 1993. The two other guys that came uh, left the band, so the band continued only with Natterforce and Nordavind, and in 1995 they made their first uh, uh, EP, Through Hasm Caves and Titan Woods. Their first debut full length album came out in 1998, and uh, from this uh, point and afterwards, members came, uh, came, and, uh, came to the band, left the band, uh, until. Uh, uh, until uh, <clears throat> 2001 and Nordavind, uh, the, the second uh, original member, also he left the band. So Natterfrost of today is the only original member of uh, Celtic of uh, uh, Carpathian Forest from the beginning. In 2022, they made also a compilation by the name "We Are Going to Hell for This," something like that. And uh, in 2004, another compilation by the name Skens and Hans Lick, something that in the Norwegian we can explain it as uh, to show great his body. And until now, they made one EP and five studio full length albums. Um, their last album was in 2006. In 2009, they came inside the hiatus until 2012. From there and here and there, they played some uh, uh, live uh, uh, concerts. Uh, in 2014, they came. In, uh, they, they started another hiatus until 2017, and in 2018, they said that they prepare a new studio album by the name Lick Square, something like that, uh, but they came with uh, a, only with an EP in 2018 by the name Licking, only with two songs and the one song was uh, a, a cover of one song of the Norwegian punk rock and roll band Turbo, Turbo Negro. So, uh, until now they made only uh, one EP and uh, five full studio albums and some combinations. I have to say that uh, Natterfrost is a, a, a special guy. 
with also his also his problems with drugs and all these things um he made some uh, uh, he, he has some uh, uh, appearance in some uh, guest appearance uh, for example with Take with um, Green Carnation a style of progressive uh, uh, metal band from Norway um, and not only that but uh, also uh, he has another other uh, three uh, projects War Destroyer one of his projects he made only only one demo with them Craft he made an uh, EP with them and he has also his uh, original uh, band Natterfrost by his name and with uh, with them he made two albums Blood and Vomit in 2004 and the second album Terrorist uh, Necro Nec or Necronaft Part 1 in 2005 I have this album very chaotic album wow very 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 chaotic album uh, especially the last song here The Death of Natterfrost is really chaotic now I have to speak about uh, and I will try here to make a worst to best uh, album, uh, video about their albums and here I will speak about their five full studio albums their first EP and one of their of their combinations uh, the combination of 2004 uh, Sketch and Hans Lee so let's start for me the seventh place the last place comes their second album of 2000 strange old Brew. it's a very strange uh, uh, album also with jazz influences punk influences uh, it's very very strange for me for, for this season i put this in this place in the sixth place their combination of 2004 scans Hans Lick the secret his body like I said some songs from here they are from the demos of them so for this season they are great even that the sound is not so good in the fifth place one album that many people like it and I'm speaking about their fourth album of 2003 uh, defending the throne of evil this album of 2003 is a little bit more symphonic black metal but let's be honest it's not exactly symphonic black metal it's, uh, it's a carpathian forest with some symphonic and melodic black metal influences in their music also you can listen here the jazz influences the punk influences also they are here a good album also i can't say in the fourth place, their first full length album of 1998, Black Signing Leader, also a special album uh, of them. In the third place, one of the best albums of them, their last album until today, their sixth album, uh, no, fifth album, their fifth album of 2006 fuck you all this is the name and also a uh, caput tum in anno est yes something like that in this album they made a very good combination between uh, punk black metal thrust metal the, this album is a very very thrusty very very good album in the second place their first ep uh, of 1995 Thohasm Caves and Titan Woods uh, also many people prefer this album with the first uh, uh, demos of them a great album with a great with the, the best cover art of them until now with only five songs but it's also great but and in the first place for me will come their third studio album of 2001 morbid fascination of death this is a real real great album of carpathian forest of blackish punk jazz 
everything here is great, great, great. For me, this is the, the best uh, album of them. So, this is about the Norwegians uh, from Israel, from Jerusalem. Stay metal and stay heavy. <laughs> 